Hi everyone, my name is Beach Zakini and I work for Millennium Water Alliance. I'm going to take you through some of the results from the Kenya Rapid Program in addressing land vulnerability and water insecurity in Northern Kenya. Kenya Resilient Arid Lands Partnership for Integrated Development, Kenya Rapid, is a five-year public-private partnership program that is funded by USAID, the Swiss Development Corporation, SDC, private sector partners, and Millennium Water Alliance members. The program brings together public and private institutions and communities to increase access to water and sanitation for people and water for livestock and to rebuild a healthy rainland management ecosystem. The program strongly supports the Ending Drought Emergency Common Program Framework that was launched by the Government of Kenya in November 2015, which recognizes that sustainable management of rainlands, water crops, and increasing contribution of livestock to pastoral economy are critical to resilient livelihoods in the Assol areas in Kenya. Therefore, Kenya Rapid Program focuses on five northern Kenya counties, that is Garissa, Isiolo, Masabi, Trukana, and Wajia, as you can see in the map. The program adopts a facilitation approach, which means it puts the government at the center. Within the program, there exist elaborate leadership structures across all levels of programming, that is from the national level, at the county level, and at the program coordination unit. The program works with the private sector to catalyze resilience building and it recognizes the fact that communities must be put at the center of what we do for sustainable gains. The program uses um, a set of social behavior change interventions to address some of the um, uh, potentially appropriate behaviors that the program beliefs are pertinent to achieving resilience. So I'll quickly go into the results um, so far. It's noteworthy that the program focuses on three strategic objectives, one being on governance, strengthening governance uh, structures uh, by way of developing policies and the relevant legislations to enhance efficiency in the water and the rainland uh, management sectors. It also focuses on working with the private sector and, 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 and therefore developing replicable and scalable business models. And lastly, the program focuses on service delivery, um, basically improving the relevant uh, infrastructure that is required to enable efficiency in the water sector. So um, one of the key results uh, lies in building responsive and accountable governance framework. Kenya Rapid recognizes that good political will is necessary in acquiring buy-in and support by the county government. And therefore, this has been one of the biggest enablers of the success that we have seen in the development of the various county water sector policies the laws, the strategies, and the rules and the regulations, which so far have been handed over to the cabinet. We hope that with this um, strengthened legislative framework, with strengthened policy framework, there is going to be better management of water resources. Similarly, the program conducted a county capacity needs assessment to understand some of the capacities and gaps that exist at systemic level, at organi organizational level, as well as at individual levels. And to this end, a county capacity building fund was established where Kenya Rapid put in some money and it is anticipated that county governments are going to continue to put money for capacity building even after the program ends. The program also supported development of community complaints and feedback mechanism, basically to ensure that the communities are empowered to exercise their rights and responsibilities. And so far, we've seen 
many members of the community coming up, raising concerns, um, seeking and demanding for support from the respective government authorities um, to improve uh, water service delivery. In terms of development and operationalization of replicable and scalable business models, Kenya Rapid has made deliberate efforts in making the assaults attractive to the private sector, which has since contributed to successful piloting of innovative business models, uh, such as the prepaid water meters, which has greatly enhanced operational efficiency and accountability in the five counties where Kenya Rapid is implemented. The other model that has proved very successful is the repair and maintenance model. We recognize that repair and maintenance has had been a big issue and most boreholes could break down and take so long to, um, to repair. And therefore, the model ensures that community members pay a certain agreed amount of premium and a private service provider therefore ensures uh, quicker and efficient repairs and maintenance whenever necessary. The role of the county government is mainly therefore to focus on development of new infrastructure as well as policy and legislation. So in this way then we are able to ensure sustainable access to water all through the year. Kenya Rapid also recognizes that data is very vital for effective decision making and that the Internet of Things solutions for water services may help address information asymmetrics and enable improved decisions, response and financial sustainability. To this end, the sweet set sensors that have been installed in a number of boreholes are proven very effective in relaying real time data through the dashboard which decision makers can easily access and be able to make useful decisions. The data that is relayed monitors borehole functionality and therefore in case of any breakdown, it can be quickly picked and addressed. Similarly, Kenya Rapid through IBM Research has supported the design and development of water management as a service platform, which is a centralized data re repository for all the water points in the five counties where we work. So again, this is expected to greatly enhance informed uh, decisions across the water sector. In terms of water infrastructure, Kenya Rapid has been able to undertake a number of rehabilitations and construction um, of various water points. And the decisions regarding infrastructural development are jointly made and funded by the county government, where the Kenya Rapid puts in money, the county government puts in money um, at various stages of, of, of construction. And in the end, there is ownership and sustainability of the water infrastructure. Um, Kenya Rapid as well has been championing the use of green energy, meaning all the boreholes that are either rehabilitated or constructed by Kenya Rapid um, uh, are solar, have solar driven pumps. This apart from um, being uh, positive um, within the domains of climate change has also proven to be quite um, effective, uh, rather cost effective in terms of uh, the abundant solar that is available in Northern Kenya. In addition, uh, the water infrastructure that Kenya Rapid puts up are multiple use uh, systems that ensures uh, both um, uh, uh, domestic and productive uses are taken care of. So for example, Kenya Rapid ensures um, that for domestic use, we adopt a kiosk model where water is brought as close as possible to the homesteads and within the kiosk we have people stocking other things that hence contributing also to the livelihoods and for sustainable management of, of the kiosk. We have had livestock troughs constructed in most of the boreholes 
In addition, we have demonstration farms that have also been uh, established um, near water points. And the demonstration farms are basically aimed at um, inspiring appropriate uh, behavior in terms of um, also accelerating adoption of crop production as an alternative livelihood and as a source of food for the predominantly um, livestock or pastoralist communities. Uh, recently, Kenya Rapid has also uh, set up uh, water points in markets that have been constructed by other USAID funded programs. And these again have proven very effective in terms of promoting um, uh, and, uh, the functionality of the market systems. Um, in the picture, you can see a lady getting spinach from her garden. Uh, this is uh, has been made possible through the support of Kenya Rapid. Previously, before the program, um, most people did not know how to produce, not even how to consume vegetables. So Kenya Rapid have had to build their capacity in terms of best agronomic practices through utilizing the existing local capacities, um, especially the extension workers, uh, for them to be able to produce, but at the same time conducting a lot of trainings and a lot of um, cooking demonstrations to teach the women how to prepare uh, nutritious meals. And I'm glad that uh, we now have very successful uh, stories of people now adopting consumption of plant source foods in addition to the animal foods that they were previously used to eating, hence having a more diverse diet that meets all the nutri nutrition requirements. Our integrated water resource management is one aspect that Kenya Rapid has been keen on, especially because most of the water sources in northern Kenya are underground water sources. And so um, in addition to just abstracting um, the program is keen to ensure that the aquifers are being recharged and therefore um, IWRM sensitization workshops for county officers have been conducted across all the five counties. Uh, 3R potential maps have been developed with support from Acacia and the result has been some counties have actually allocated budgets to implement 3R interventions within the current financial year. Of course, we anticipate that this practice is going to continue and that people are increasingly going to realize the importance of integrated water resource management by conserving the environment, by um, ensuring that water is harvested whenever uh, it rains heavily, um, because currently the practice is that it rains, all the water flows down to the ocean and a few months down the line the region suffers um, from drought emergencies so with IWRM we hope that we are going to sustainably address water availability in terms of rangeland management Kenya Rapid has been um, in the forefront in terms of uh, various interventions that are aimed at improving um, uh, uh, the, the, uh, improving um, the, 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 the rangelands. And um, because of the various interventions that include uh, policy uh, improvement uh, or rather development, uh, interventions that have to do with uh, receding of denuded um, rangelands, interventions that have to do with establishment of rangeland management committees for improved governance um, and uh, supporting their uh, 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 registration within with the relevant authorities, um, as well as interventions that have to do with um, adopting and ensuring the officers within the county government embrace 
um, monitoring of rangeland as a deliberate measure for effective management in which Kenya Rapid is partnering with the regional center for mapping for resources for development who have developed a rangeland decision support tool to aid in effective rangeland management. So um, from all these uh, interventions and initiatives, we have seen significant improvement in governance and community participation in rangeland restoration activities. This, of course, has resulted from the use of the local structures, such as the rangeland management committees that I've already mentioned, and the local elders. Again, you realize that there's a lot of there's been a lot of conflict in 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 North, in, in the five counties uh, of focus because of um, unclear resource sharing plans. So, through the support of of Kenya Rapid in terms of promoting grazing uh, planning, um, there has been reduced um, resource-based conflict uh, that, that, again, is attributable to the use of the, the local elders as, as, as you know, um, a, a unit that promotes uh, peace and cohesion amongst uh, the various communities that share the limited resources. Similarly, um, we have been able to adopt the value chain approach to improving access to fodder and pasture, which has greatly contributed to community participation um, and ownership because people now look at pasture as a source of livelihoods, as a source of income, and therefore they are able to take their time to um, ensure um, um, it is well taken care of and in case there's need for receding then that is done uh, in a timely manner i would want to stop there thank you so much for listening